Sustainable design involves uh, designing buildings or communities or patterns of living together uh, where we use less resources both in the operation of these buildings, how we move between buildings, how we move within the cities, but also in the, in the fabric of the city, uh, the way buildings are constructed, the materials are constructed out of. Buildings themselves, uh, in, typically in cities, consume about 54% of the energy uh, in, in cities uh, and therefore approximately, depending on where we are, uh, uh, the same amount of carbon. Uh, so if you look at a, a total of emissions in a city, uh, about half of those come from either the operations of buildings or the construction of buildings. Renewables is um, a fairly new area of, uh, of energy consumption. Uh, first of all, we've been driven by extremely cheap energy sources over the last uh, 20 or 30 years. Uh, the cost of gas energy or, or other forms of uh, energy in, in buildings is relatively speaking cheap when you compare it to say the cost of purchasing a building or the cost of uh, of your mortgage or something like that. Energy just isn't a big factor. But now through scarcity, and that can be uh, fuel scarcity or expensive uh, oil or gas, uh, or the shortage of electricity. North America is facing a shortage of electricity at the moment. We know now that the price of these things is going to go up and we want to actually conserve uh, this energy or replace it with renewables. So if we look at uh, what we can do with sustainable design in buildings, we know how to reduce the energy consumption in buildings uh, easily by half uh, and uh, more, more technically uh, for more advanced projects uh, by as much as uh, 85 percent. So uh, we can actually sip energy uh, uh, in, uh, when we design buildings properly and that helps because it reduces the carbon footprint. There's also a fantastic new area of opportunity opening up and that's uh, in designing the infrastructure that connect buildings to energy systems. So if you think of sewage systems or water supply systems or, or district heating systems, uh, uh, they can all be linked together and there's enormous efficiency in, in looking at communities of buildings, say perhaps a university or a hospital complex or a group of downtown office buildings or even a, a neighborhood community. Work has, and research has progressed on building design to, to an extent where we really do know how to make energy efficient buildings. In the long term, it pays to do green buildings and even in the short term for more energy consumptive buildings in more extreme environments you're going to save money if you do green buildings.